Now, with more on the coming fourth elections, we're joined by Israeli attorney and legal advisor for Meshilut, Simcha Rotman. Simcha, thanks so much for being with us. Now, there is a lot that has been changing right now. What should voters be focused on most? Um, if you ask me, I believe that the main uh, issue that should stand uh, in front of an is the Israeli voter is the justice system. Uh, people think that we are now in the fourth election between we in the in the past two years because that uh, the system instability or because Netanyahu or whatever reason people don't really take into account that uh, we went to the first election because of the justice system canceling the ultra orthodox draft law and and we are going to all those elections because of the justice system because of the the legal system, some would say, because uh, of the uh, Netanyahu's cases, which are also uh, an example of criminalizing politics, that's also some, some blame should be taken by the justice system. Um, so the main issue should be the justice system and how to fix the, the, the problems with the separation of powers and checks and balances in Israel that are currently unbalanced. Well, so, but with all the new parties you know, dissolving, reforming, new partnerships that are popping up, including with Justice Minister Avi Nisenkog now saying that he's going to be joining up with uh, Tel Aviv Mayor Ron Khuldai. You know, what do you make of this? How, if you're saying that the justice system should be, the, should be at the top of, you know, of the issue list for voters, where should they be looking for that? Um, I think that you can find um, in some parties people that are committed to the issue. Uh, I'm not sure that in the current system we have a party that says, I am focusing all my efforts just on that and on nothing else. But uh, you can find in mostly the right-wing parties, uh, the Likud, you have few Knesset members, including former Justice Minister Amir Ohana, of course. In uh, Yamina, you have few Knesset members, including uh, uh, former Justice Minister Ayla Chaked. Um, in uh, in um, the new uh, Gidon Saar party, Gidon Saar himself is, uh, has his own share of criticism of the justice system and also uh, uh, other members like Elkin and others. Uh, you can find these ideologies uh, all around the place, but, uh, but um, you're right that currently we don't have a party that says we were going to focus only yeah. or mostly on fixing the justice system problems. All right, well, I, I want to move then now maybe to Gideon Sal's New Hope Party, which, uh, which you just kind of alluded to a little bit. What do you make of his new campaign promise to install eight-year term limits for the prime minister's office? Um, I think that the eight years term limit to prime minister in the parliamentarian system like Israel is not really... Um, is not really... Um, something wise to offer. Not because I think uh, term limits are an excellent idea, idea but, but you, when you have a coalition system, it's not like in the U.S. you have a, a president, he has four years and maybe eight years to do basically whatever he wants. He has some limits, but he's, he can act on his own agenda and improve himself. Um, in a, a parliamentarian system, how can you count years um, that when the ability to act as, as a prime minister is determined not only by the fact that you are the prime minister, is determined there is also determined by the parties you have in your coalition. I'm very curious to see how people will vote then in, in come March, uh, especially based on this campaign promise and what the, what the rest of the public feels about term limits and whether or not they agree uh, that they fit or don't fit in our parliamentary system. Simcha Rotten, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much.